You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. All writers are prone to becoming so attached to our characters and stories that we struggle to see why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our writing to full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable writers to develop and grow, shaping stories into masterpieces that can stand the test of time. Editing services are provided for all genres and all age categories. Services range from critiques of the short story through to the line edits of the full-length novel and copy editing for those preparing for publication. We also offer assistance on generating a writer's file for your website, as well as help with those book blurbs and promotional material. We won't abandon you to the masses. We want to celebrate with you and your successes. Black Wolf Editorial Services. Nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services and prices, visit us at blackwolfeditorial.com. Individuals and businesses with tax problems, listen carefully. Do you feel like you're losing control over your finances? If you owe over $10,000 in back taxes or have unfiled tax returns, we can help you take back control. The IRS is the largest and most aggressive collection agency in the world, and they can seize your bank account, garnish your paycheck, close your business, and file criminal charges. Take control of your tax problems now by calling the experts at Tax Mediation Services and take advantage of the Fresh Start program and new laws that may allow us to negotiate a settlement for the lowest amount possible. Our team of tax attorneys and enrolled agents can stop collections and get you protected so you can take control of your financial future. Tax Mediation Services is accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Call now for a free case review and a price protection guaranteed quote. Call Tax Mediation Services now at 800-610-9050. That's 800-610-9050. 800-610-9050. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. This is Slickery Trigger for Rebel Road Tactical. With proper care and feeding, your pistol will be ready when you need it. There to save your life. Shouldn't your gear be that good? Whether you need a holster for comfortable, everyday carry, or a tough-as-nails holster for your next training course, Rebel Road Tactical has what you need. Check us out on the web at rebelroadtactical.com. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 of pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. The following message contains a special offer for listeners of this station. Are you a man over 40? Are you constantly looking for the nearest bathroom? Do you wake up multiple times a night to use the bathroom? Right now, Perfect Prostate is sending out free bottles of their groundbreaking new formula to listeners of this station. Perfect Prostate formula was developed by medical doctor Mitchell Fleischer, and its ingredients have been clinically studied to reduce your frequent nighttime bathroom visits and promote healthy urine flow. Right now, preferred customers get their first bottle of Perfect Prostate absolutely free. There's nothing to lose. Perfect Prostate is guaranteed to reduce that constant urge to use the bathroom, especially at night, and promote healthy urine flow. Don't wait. Call now for your free bottle. 1-800-516-7602. 
Just pay shipping and processing. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. Supplies are limited. One free bottle per household. Call now. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. Hey, folks. I want to introduce you to a friend of mine, Dr. Richard Harden. We are on the same mission, which is Waking Up America. We just have different paths. So stay tuned for some information on how you can keep up with Richard and all his work. Visit Richard's website at raharden.com. That's the World Wide Web at R-A-H-A-R-D-I-N dot com. At his website, you can see a summary of the six books he has written, where purchases may be made. He also has a link to 18 videos on YouTube and several blogs about Christian beliefs. If you prefer, visit Amazon.com backslash Kindle and type in Richard Harden to see and purchase his books. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps stand ready to defend the American way of life. The few, the proud, the Marines. This is Slickery Trigger for Rebel Road Tactical. With proper care and feeding, your pistol will be ready when you need it. There to save your life. Shouldn't your gear be that good? Whether you need a holster for comfortable everyday carry or a tough-as-nails holster for your next training course, Rebel Road Tactical has what you need. Check us out on the web at rebelroadtactical.com. Defending Liberty one hour at a time and broadcasting live from the RWB Network Studios in New York City, this is the Rhino Report. Always right. You want answers. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Uh, I've now been in 57 states. I think one left to go. We are going to raise taxes on the middle class. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. You are very rude. We are going to make America great again. USA! 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 And fellow Americans, let's roll. And now, here's your host, the Rhino. The new chapter, hello, hello, hello. I am the Rhino, and this is my report. Today, Wednesday, December 14th, 2016, and we are coming to you from the RWB Network Studios here in New York and live on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Have you guys ever tried one of those fad diets? Paleo, Atkins, raw food, alkaline, vegetarian I shudder to think about vegetarian. Well, Andrew Taylor of Melbourne, Australia, has a new one for you. Potatoes. Yep, potatoes. He's eaten nothing but potatoes for an entire year. He's lost over 100 pounds. He's no longer taking antidepressants. And he now has normalized his cholesterol levels. However, his blood sugar is probably somewhere around 3,000. Listen, a word to the wise, many doctors and dietitians are saying the potato diet is a bad idea. And for those of you wondering out there, no, I don't think it includes potato chips. All right, let's get to today's big three headlines. Outgoing Senator Harry Reid figured out how to use a computer. And he took questions on BuzzFeed the other day. In response to questions about the possibility of Russian interference in our election, he likened the damage to that of 9-11 while calling for a special commission to investigate. Has the left's response to this historic loss gone beyond the bounds of just being a bunch of sore losers? Also, sources are starting to tell the tale of what actually happened in Michigan in the days and weeks leading up to the election. These sources are citing arrogant behavior by those in Hillary Clinton's closest circles. Turns out her loss in deep blue Michigan may not have been the fault of Vladimir Putin. And President-elect Donald Trump is set to meet with tech industry leaders today at the White House North in Manhattan. 
Those in attendance are probably hoping it doesn't go the same way Trump's meeting went with mainstream media elite only three weeks ago. All that, plus we mourn the loss of one of America's greatest TV dads. We'll tell you about a USPS worker who may have saved Christmas in North Carolina. And putting all Russian hacking conspiracy theories aside, can Donald Trump's win be attributed to mail-order brides? We have a lot to get to today. But let's kick this show off the same way we always do, with our salute to the country with our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We do have a lot to get to today, but first, you have to check out RhinoReport.com. RhinoReport.com, many of you signing up for the newsletter. I'm getting it out very, very shortly, I do promise. Also, a new article by Robert titled Helping Others. Gotta check that out. Always a great read by Robert. And you can check out the new Rhino Rants. Also, follow us on Twitter at Rhino, R-Y-N-O, on air, at Rhino on air. It's the same handle on Gab. We're speaking freely there, at Rhino on air. And Facebook, facebook.com slash the Rhino Report. And as always, you can email me, rhino at rwbnetwork.com. Do not go anywhere. Hey, guys. Ryan the Rhino DeSico here for my friends at Liberty HealthShare. If your health care has become a burden and you're worried about being stuck for another year, listen up because you do have options. Liberty HealthShare could be the solution to your problem. Open enrollment is here, and this could be your chance to free yourself from insurance. Take this opportunity and join Liberty HealthShare. You can finally be in control and have freedom when it comes to your health care. Liberty HealthShare offers an entirely open network which means you choose your own doctors and you choose your own hospitals. Liberty HealthShare offers freedom from insurance, meaning there are no related tax penalties. To find out how you can easily make the change, call Liberty HealthShare today at 855-585-4237 or visit their website at libertyhealthshare.org. That's libertyhealthshare.org. Do it today. All right, guys, welcome back to this hump day edition of the Rhino Report. Big shout out to everyone listening on Red Nation Rising Radio, the Liberty Feed, as well as StreamingTalkRadio.com. We're live right now there, too. And the replay at midnight Eastern, KLRNRadio.com. And if you're listening on the CRN app, which if you're not, you should download right now from your Apple iTunes or Google Play Store, CRN Channel 1. A big hello to you guys. 2 p.m. Eastern, as always, and I missed you guys yesterday. That was totally my fault. I got caught up in Manhattan. Nobody ever wants to get caught up in Manhattan, but I was. I was hanging off the sides of buildings and fixing air conditioners and furnaces and all sorts of fun stuff. But we're back today, back in the saddle. I'm glad that I'm back. I'm glad I made it back and I wasn't scraped off the pavement, that's for sure. You know, I um, I was talking about, I think it was... Last Friday, maybe it was Friday or Thursday, we were talking about how the left over the years has divided people into these small groups. And within these small groups, they have made the argument that populism is a bad thing. Stuff that appeals to the majority of people is a bad thing, and that's how they gain their votes. And this all came about because of polling and analytics and all these dirty words we have to use now. And I got a lot of emails about it. It's one of those shows that, for some reason, it hit a chord with people. And I got a ton of emails about, that makes so much sense, and why has nobody said that before? And you know what? It just comes to me. It's like an epiphany in my dreams. (laughs) That's, That's how I get it. But what they try to do with these small groups is they try to say the masses think they're better than you are. That's what they do. And then that's how they rally the troops much in the same way where, you know, sometimes senators don't mind if their candidate, their presidential candidate loses the election because now they just go back every six years and say, we're going to fight the new guy. We're going to fight the new one. That's how they get reelected with this, this battle call. When it comes to being better than somebody else. Nobody out there is better than anybody else. There are certain people who have who have capitalized better on opportunities 
maybe those out there who went to college for a long time, spent 20 years in academia, doesn't make them better than you. It just makes them a little more different than you. And I want to reference something. As I was talking about this the other day, and then I listened back to it, there's a story I wanted to tell because it proves the point perfectly. Here on Long Island, we have a pretty good array of state and local parks. None of them are very big. I would say the largest one is probably somewhere in the vicinity of, I don't know, 80 acres. I mean, nothing in comparison to like the Blue Ridge Mountains or the Adirondack Mountains or the Rocky Mountains. Nothing in that size. There's just no room for it. We're all very important. We have houses. We have to build on property, you know? So I drive past one of these parks called Caleb Smith Park. It's in Comac, New York. I think they say Smithtown, maybe. I don't know. It's on the border. It's not a large park. Uh, on one side is bordered by the water, the Long Island Sound. On two sides, east and west, it's bordered by homes that are in Smithtown and Comac. And on the south side, it's bordered by a rather major thoroughfare. And I would say the park itself is probably somewhere in the area of ah, 40 acres. So I've set the stage for you. Now, there's a doctor. We're going to assume he's fairly well educated. He's a cardiac surgeon. He was 62 years old. Decided he was going to go out in the park and go fishing one day. This happened a couple years ago. Well, he's in this park that's 30 or 40 acres large. Not that big. He's fishing. He becomes disoriented, and he gets lost in this park. He's not just lost in the park for a little while. He's lost in the park for three days. Three days. 30 acres. If you walk in one direction for 15 minutes... You're going to find an exit. Three days. Cardiac surgeon. So that just goes to show you that you're sometimes good at some things. Just because you're a cardiac surgeon does not mean you're a good outdoorsman. And just because you're a good outdoorsman doesn't mean you could do thoracic surgery. But it's this kind of stuff that gets people all riled up. Also, I forgot to mention, when they rescued this guy, it looked like he was in the Lord of the Flies. Okay, he was sunburnt, he had mosquito bites all over him, he had his shirt off, and it was tied around his head. Like he was the next cardiac Rambo or something. <laughs> Went fishing for 20 minutes, gets lost for three days. I don't think his wife even knew he was gone. But it just goes to show that everybody has something they're good at. We have something that that makes us who we are. And just because that one thing makes you does not mean it makes somebody else or makes anybody else less important than you are. You know, I, I guarantee Mike from the body shop who has a GED, he finds his way out of that park. Unlike the cardiac surgeon, who I hope can find his way around a heart a little better than he can a small public park. So that's my little story about how we're all kind of the same, but we have different things we're good at. Just because someone makes a lot of money doesn't mean they're better than you. Don't let the Democrats do that to you. They're, they're trying to divide us. At this point, at this juncture, they are more willing to go to war with Russia than they are to admit the fact that they lost. There's a lot of stuff going on right now, but we have to hold true to who we are and what we believe in. And we'll get into that a little bit more when we talk about what happened in Michigan as some of these stories start to come out about what happened on the ground or didn't happen on the ground in Michigan. Before we get to all that, I do want to do a quick little thing here about Alan Thicke. You guys know Alan Thicke passed away uh, yesterday, 69 years old. Of course, uh, the psychiatrist Jason Seaver on Growing Pains. I love that show. See, that was appointment TV. When this show started, I mean, there was no TiVo DVR. You had to we had to watch it when it was on. It wasn't in syndication yet. Appointment TV is something that's gone away. It's almost like appointment radio. You know, some of you guys hear this show live. Most of you download it. But appointment TV, and he was the king of it. He was he was also he was also a a songwriter. Some people don't know that. He he wrote the the, the songs for uh, Wheel of Fortune. Different Strokes, The Facts of Life. I mean, he had this very talented guy. Some reports say he was playing basketball with his son. 
uh, Carter when he had a heart attack. Some said he was playing hockey. He's Canadian. I'm going to go with the hockey story. But he survived by his wife, Tanya, and, of course, his son, Robin Thicke, who's a pop singer and uh, knows how to twerk, apparently. And there's also his other son, Carter, 69 years old. But that show, Growing Pains, 1985 to 1992, seven years. I mean, that show is still, when it's on, like, uh, TV Land or one of those, I always watch it. Always watch it. Love that show. So, rest in peace, Alan Thicke, 69 years old. Way too young. Way too young. I mean, sometimes you get these celebrities and they're in their 80s or 90s and you go, you know what, they had a good run. They had a good run. Unfortunately, they had a good run. 69, this day and age, way too young. Way too young. All right, when we come back, I want to talk about Harry Reid. Harry Reid took the BuzzFeed. I didn't know he could program his VCR, let alone operate a computer to get on BuzzFeed. He's trying to liken the Russian influence and our election to 9-11. This guy's a dope, and we'll tell you why. Also, Nancy Pelosi, she's at it with James Comey. Go figure. And have we found a conspiracy theory that Alex Jones doesn't agree with? We have a lot to get to today, guys. Hang in there. You're listening to The Rhino Report, part of the RWB Network. Come to Angelo's and Vinci's Restaurante in Fullerton, California, the number one Italian restaurant in Orange County. Angelo's and Vinci's features specialty salads, homemade pastas, chicken dishes, supreme seafood, meatballs, and our award-winning pizzas, thin or thick crust. Calling all party planners, private rooms still available for your holiday luncheon or dinner. Try our Holiday Express lunch buffet, just $12.95 per person. It includes tossed green salad, lasagna, chicken cacciatore, sausage and peppers, pasta alfredo, homemade rolls, and butter, garlic bread, and Zeppelis, our famous Italian donuts. Plan your holiday party now. Call Angelo's and Vinci's at 714-879-4022. Angelo's and Vinci's, your destination for private parties, weddings, birthday parties, and all holiday events. 20,000 square feet of food and fun and voted best Italian restaurant in Orange County. Angelo's and Vinci's, 550 North Harbor Boulevard in Fullerton, California. Call 714-879-4022. 714-879-4022. 4022. What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it, you could junk it, or you could donate it to Heritage for the Blind. Your car will be towed away for free, and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1 800 785 9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats. It doesn't matter if your vehicle runs or not, it will be towed away for free, and you'll be supporting those that need help. Heritage for the Blind is a nonprofit organization that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call right now to donate your car and as a special thank you for calling, you'll receive a free three-day vacation voucher to many exciting locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now. 1-800-785-9618. Donating is easy and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher. Call now. 1-800-785-9618. That's 1-800-785-9618. The smartest way for you to get the lowest prices on your plane tickets, domestic or international, is to call SmartFares first or last, but you've got to call us before you book your plane tickets. Fly anywhere in the world, fly anywhere in the U.S., and SmartFares can save you up to 75% on your plane tickets. We have the lowest airline ticket prices on over 500 airlines, and you've got a great 12-hour free cancellation window. Plus, with our live agent help, you can always get fast help and fast answers. So on your next trip, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, how about right now? Pick up your phone and call SmartFares, plus save up to 75% on your plane reservation. So call right now. 800-915-2644-800-915-2644-800-915-2644-800-915-2644. Welcome back to this Wednesday edition of the Rhino Report. Check out all the old episodes, iTunes, TuneIn, Spreaker, Stitcher, Podbean, and iHeartRadio. You can gather the family around the smartphone and listen to all of the episodes. Uh, In fact, that actually brings me to another short story I'm going to tell you. It's story day. Story day here on the Rhino Report. I got an email from somebody that said, and this is kind of funny. 
I think it was it was a long email. I'm going to paraphrase. Um, they wrote me and said that we were talking about essay 68 from the Federalist Papers briefly a few days ago. And their son, who happens to be in middle school, was having a tough time understanding how the Federalist Papers were a framework for our Constitution and not actually law. And they're very, very sort of uh, introductory type stuff that you would go over with a middle school student. So she took the family smartphone and played the episode and explained, and you know, they listened to me explain Essay 68 the best that I can. And we did it briefly. So her son goes into school the next day, and they're having a discussion in their history class about the Federalist Papers. And the teacher is searching for answers. This is what teachers do now because they're not masters of their field anymore. They're just masters of teaching, right? So her son tells the teacher exactly what I said almost verbatim about Alexander Hamilton and what he meant in that particular essay. They were talking about it as a topic of conversation, of course, with what's going on now. And the teacher told him he was wrong. And I guess the, the son said, uh, well, that's not what the guy on the radio said. <laughs> and he said, what guy on the radio? Rush Limbaugh? And he goes, no, the rhino. And I guess the teacher had no idea. And the student had said to him, well, it's okay because he knows more than you do anyway. So I, I don't I don't condone talking back to your teachers like that unless they are just bleeding heart liberals. But then you can go back at them all you want and you can say, I uh, I told you to do so. So I'm sure there will be a, a memo going out to the parents of that school district uh, about this evil radio show that no one should listen to. So speaking of evil, um, Harry Reid, Harry, this guy is a total dope. What an idiot. He says – that the possibility of Russian interference, this is all on BuzzFeed. For those of you who don't get your news off of BuzzFeed, congratulations, you're not a moron. He says that it's as big a deal as Watergate or as 9-11. Let that sink in for a second. First of all, the email scandal with his good buddy Hillary, much bigger deal than Watergate. Much bigger. And the collusion with the DNC to force Bernie Sanders out. Much bigger deal. But we're not even talking about that. Now we're saying that the possibility that our best intelligence departments can't even agree upon because of a lack of evidence is as big as 9-11. As big as Islamic terrorists flying commercial airliners into private buildings. And then flying one into the Pentagon and then trying to fly one into the White House. Let that sink in for a second. It makes you wonder how this guy kept getting reelected. It's crazy. Mr. Reed, let me explain to you what happened on, on 9-11, because obviously you have no idea. And um, I was right there when it happened. I could describe to you the smell, the smell of burning bodies, the smell of all the ashes, the inches and inches and inches of whatever it was, debris, body dust piling up on cars. I can describe to you what the funerals looked like or memorial services. You know why? Because they didn't find bodies. I can describe those to you. The weeping families, friends. Or how about the people who jumped? The people who thought they had no other way out. Who jumped from 108 stories in the air. It's a thousand feet, Mr. Reed. It's a long way. Not much hits the ground after you bounce off the building a few times. But no. Russia, the possibility of Russia hacking into emails and disclosing information that you guys just didn't want us to see, that is an equivalent to 3,000 people burning alive and getting crushed by buildings. You're an idiot. Congratulations, you're a moron. But this is what they do. When they lose, they get mad. They weren't supposed to lose, but they lost. And they lost big league, to put it in Donald Trump's words. Big time. 
When we come back, I want to finish talking about this. This guy is such a jerk. And then we'll get to Nancy Pelosi's response. You know, they have the big heavy hitters out here with a combined age of 322. And then we'll talk about Alex Jones a little bit. We'll talk about, uh, we have a lot to get to. Russian brides, mail order brides. Did they influence the election? And what? What was happening in Michigan on election day that the Hillary camp just didn't pay attention to because they were too busy sipping on the champagne? Hang in there, guys. We'll be right back. Hey, guys. Ryan the Rhino DeSico here for my friends at Liberty HealthShare. If your health care has become a burden and you're worried about being stuck for another year, listen up because you do have options. Liberty HealthShare could be the solution to your problem. Open enrollment is here, and this could be your chance to free yourself from insurance. Take this opportunity and join Liberty HealthShare. You can finally be in control and have freedom when it comes to your health care. Liberty HealthShare offers an entirely open network, which means you choose your own doctors and you choose your own hospitals. Liberty HealthShare offers freedom from insurance, meaning there are no related tax penalties. To find out how you can easily make the change, call Liberty HealthShare today at 855-585-4237 or visit their website at libertyhealthshare.org. That's libertyhealthshare.org. Do it today. Let me take just a moment or two, if I may, and talk about a great place to eat. That's right. For you folks anywhere in the eastern San Fernando Valley, drop in to Bob's Big Boys. That's right. In Sun Valley at 8274 Sunland Boulevard. Now, everybody remembers the name Bob's. They're getting bigger and bigger every day. And little old Bob carrying the hamburger in his checkered overalls is the same Bob that you remember from back through the years. And, of course, if you want to go in for a great lunch, remember their classic burger, the original double-deck hamburger combination. Delicious 100% pure ground beef in two patties with American cheese, lettuce, and our famous Big Boy special sauce. The name is Bob, and I think when you go in, you'll say, by golly, I'm sure glad that I found this restaurant because it's good for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They've got all kinds of things, and all you have to do is remember. Bob's Big Boy in Sun Valley at 8274 Sunland Boulevard. It's a great place to eat. The smartest way for you to get the lowest prices on your plane tickets, domestic or international, is to call SmartFares first or last, but you've got to call us before you book your plane tickets. Fly anywhere in the world, fly anywhere in the U.S., and SmartFares can save you up to 75% on your plane tickets. We have the lowest airline ticket prices on over 500 airlines, and you've got a great 12-hour free cancellation window. Plus, with our live agent help you can always get fast help and fast answers so on your next trip maybe today maybe tomorrow how about right now pick up your phone and call smart fares plus save up to 75 percent in your plane reservation so call right now 800 800-915-2644. Experience a luxury boutique hotel escape in the heart of Laguna Beach, California. With the finest art gallery, shopping, dining, and nightlife just steps from your door. The heart of Laguna Beach, the edge of the sea. It's the Inn at Laguna Beach. Enjoy our comfortable rooms, blending the style of a timeless beach bungalow with the modern comforts of today. 70 newly appointed guest rooms and suites await you at the Inn at Laguna Beach. Then, relax at the rooftop bar, where you'll indulge in breathtaking views of the ocean. For dining, you'll find libations and local cuisine on the California coastline, including dining at the legendary Las Brisas, a Southern California landmark. The Inn at Laguna Beach. Footsteps from room to village to sea, local in the heart of Laguna Beach. The Inn is within walking distance of all that Laguna Beach has to offer. No car required. The Inn at Laguna Beach, 211 North Coast Highway in Laguna Beach, California. Call 800-544-4479 or visit innatlagunabeach.com. All right, guys, welcome back to the Wednesday edition Rhino Report. We're going to finish talking about this Harry Reid guy, and he's got to be gone, right? A few more weeks, a couple weeks, and he's out of here. Likening Russian interference, possible, possible, not even proven interference by releasing information we shouldn't have seen. 
because they didn't want us to see it to 9-11 to 3,000 people dying at one time not to mention the hundreds of FDNY Port Authority police and NYPD police that died also and the thousands and thousands of people who have died since and have this unexplicable lung condition that no one can figure out what it is from handling all that stuff that's the same as hacking an email address what an idiot this guy it it it, it, it makes me sad to think that the people of Nevada think this guy is a good choice to represent them. That makes me mad and it makes me sad at the same time. <sighs> All right. Well, he's talking on BuzzFeed about this. And then he says, I think Comey has done as much to denigrate the FBI in just the short three years he's been here as J. Edgar Hoover did during his time. Then they asked him about you know, who could replace Comey? Because this is all Comey's fault. All this Russian stuff, it's all Comey's fault. Nothing to do with you had a candidate who was bottom of the barrel terrible, who was so corrupt that the FBI was involved to begin with. It was Bernie Sanders. Nobody would even be saying the words FBI anymore, or the letters FBI. Because you had to, you had to make this election. You had to collude to get her in there because she's probably protecting all of your dirty little secrets. That's why the FBI is involved. So they ask him, what about the next FBI director? And he says, it would be very difficult to come up with somebody as irresponsible as Comey. Now, I don't have a great memory, but I'm pretty sure in July, let's call it July 6th, when Comey read his 14-minute indictment of Hillary. And then said, oh, no reasonable prosecutor would possibly press charges here. And he says, this is a quote from Harry Reid. No one can question his integrity. Let's put a subtext to that. Unless Hillary Clinton loses. Then we can all question his integrity. Uh, he also said in this BuzzFeed thing that he thinks, and this is, this is just, this is how stupid he actually is. He says that members of the Electoral College should receive an intel briefing before they vote next week. Once again, we don't care about security clearances, right? Can any of these people pass a background check, a security clearance? In order to get an intelligence briefing, you have to be cleared pretty high. So now you're going to clear all these electors? What an idiot. They don't care about clearances. They don't even know what the C means in the email. Now they want to give intel briefings. Who's going to give it? Nancy Pelosi? <laughs> Maybe Harry Reid can give it. Maybe Obama can give it. How about that? Remember Obama? This guy, he said, <laughs> we're saying remember Obama like he's not the president still. <laughs> because Trump's the president. He's making Obama look like a schlep right now. He's got people at IBM promising to add 25,000 jobs. He's got that soft bank bringing 50,000 jobs here, $50 billion investment, saving jobs a carrier, making the union look stupid, making Obama look stupid. So we can say, remember Obama, because he's not a factor anymore. Remember Obama? <laughs> remember when he got caught in that hot mic? He was talking to that, uh, what was his name, Dmitry Medvedev, and he said, this is my last election. After my election, I'll have more flexibility. Like, that's not, you know, trying to go buddy-buddy with Russia, is it? And then this guy Medvedev said, I understand. I'll transmit information to Vladimir. <laughs> no. Donald Trump's the real problem here. He's the real problem. Pelosi even says, Pelosi says that uh, Comey was a devastating and shameful for our country. Gosh, we hate to have people that do their jobs around here. We can't have that. No one in Congress does it, does their work. They don't. They don't want to work. They want to fight over every dollar and every bill that gets passed. The worst thing you can do is put the Congress in charge of money. But they refuse to blame their own candidate. Here we are. We're months out of the election. Over a month. And we're still talking about this because they still just can't let it go. You lost. You're a bunch of losers. What do you want from us? No one told Hillary to set up an unsecured private server in her basement. Nobody told her to ignore warnings about hacking. 
Now we know five different countries may have had access to her unsecured private server. And like we said before, the involvement of the FBI is a direct result of Hillary Clinton and her inability to tell the truth or maintain proper records. It's got nothing to do with James Comey. He was the guy at the head of it. And at the end of the day, he cleared her twice. What else do you want him to do? Stuff ballot boxes for you? What else should he do? Now, Alex Jones, Alex Jones, he's not buying this Russian hacking stuff. I wouldn't think he would. We finally found a conspiracy theory that Alex Jones doesn't agree with. And I like Alex Jones. I'm not saying anything bad about it. I just think it's funny that uh, finally we got one here that that he doesn't see here. Uh, he says, absolutely no evidence uh, that there's any kind of hacking and involvement here. Listen, WikiLeaks has said all along that Russia has not been involved in the hacking. And I tend to agree or listen to or believe what they say. WikiLeaks is perhaps the most credible news source out there. And it's so hard to say that, but it might be true. They would not jeopardize their reputation because the minute that somebody figures out it was the Russians that gave it to them, they're not going to have much credibility anymore. And WikiLeaks thrives on having credibility. They want to make sure when they get involved, people listen. So I don't think they would lie about it. Alex Jones agrees. No evidence of Russian hacking. Eh, I agree too. Why not? I'll agree because it pisses off the Democrats and the liberals. That's why I'll agree. I love stirring the pot. <laughs> All right. When we come back, let's talk about this dire warning that the people on the ground in Michigan gave the Hillary camp on the day of the election, and they ignored it. They ignored it. Plus, Trump says Merry Christmas in Wisconsin. He promised to do it a year ago. He did it yesterday. And he's meeting with titans of tech industry at White House North today. That's not going to go too well. We have a lot more to get to, you guys. Hang in there. You are listening to The Rhino Report, defending liberty one hour at a time. Part of the RWD Network. Do not go anywhere. A lot more coming up. This report is brought to you by Jive Software. Technology has come a long way in 30 years. When Marty McFly stepped out of his time machine in Back to the Future 2, things like video conferencing, hoverboards, and personal drones were viewed as futuristic fantasies. John Schneider of Jive Software explains. Artificial intelligence in the workplace isn't science fiction anymore. It's a reality, and we foresee some big AI trends in 2017. Machine learning will only get better at combing through the projected 44 zettabytes of data in the digital universe in order to make relevant recommendations. Predictive analytics will also play a vital role in decision-making, allowing executives more time to focus on strategy and innovation. John says there are additional trends to watch for. The Internet of Things is going mainstream, with real-time data seamlessly integrating into collaboration hubs. Work graphs are set to become increasingly intuitive, enabling information and insights to be more visible. Finally, voice-first and virtual reality will infiltrate the enterprise workplace, making it more interactive and productive. For more, visit jivesoftware.com. When you really want Italian food, really good Italian food, you've got to go to Columbo's. Columbo's Italian Steakhouse and Jazz Club, Colorado Boulevard, Eagle Rock. It's that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you. Why? Well, here's a couple of reasons. Value. You get a lot for your money along with a load of deliciousness. You're not eating corporate food. Columbo's is family owned and faithful to their long held family recipes. We're talking service that's never never falling. You'll never get, hi, I'm Jennifer. I'll be your server tonight. Please. Jazz every night. Sizzling steaks, luscious fish entrees, yummy Italian specialties, and the world's greatest meatballs. Need I say more? Oh, I will. Value, deliciousness, Italian family specialties, friendly service, Columbo's. Yes. That little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you. Columbo's. Manja. All right, guys, welcome back to this Wednesday edition of the Rhino Report. Let's let's round out this Russian hacking stuff, and we'll be done with it for today. We'll probably get back to it tomorrow, I'm sure. Uh, in October, Obama says he's uh, – yeah, in October, he goes, uh, 
Uh, the larger point I want to emphasize here is that there is no serious person out there who would suggest somehow that you could even rig America's elections. <laughs> and so I'd advise Mr. Trump to stop whining and go try to make his case to get votes. All right, let's fast forward a couple of months to The Daily Show, which is hosted by Trevor Noah. For those of you who don't know who that is, it doesn't really matter, but he does not like flyover country. So if you live anywhere except for California or New York, he doesn't like you. Obama's on the show there, and he says, uh, Russia trying to influence uh, our election dates back to the Soviet Union. What they did here, hacking some emails and releasing them, is not a particularly fancy brand of espionage or propaganda. We were, frankly, more concerned in the run-up to the election to the possibilities of vote tampering, which we did not see evidence of and were confident uh, we, would, we could guard against. So uh, a couple of months ago, he advised Donald Trump to stop whining and get votes. So Donald Trump stops whining and he gets a lot of votes. And now all of a sudden there's Russian hacking. <laughs> all of a sudden. Uh, all right. Speaking of votes. People of Michigan, the state of Michigan, you guys went Trump, right? 10,700 votes, something like that was the difference. We'll call it 11,000 because they don't like when we say that. So we'll say 11,000. Now, on the ground in Michigan, the people who were there trying to rally the troops for Hillary Clinton, they were starting to tell the Clinton camp a few weeks out, listen, we might have a problem here. But the Clinton polling... Internal polling showed Michigan by five in their favor, so they told those on the ground not to do anything. Just sit back, enjoy the ride, you're worried. You're worried about this, you shouldn't be. Our internal polling is showing Hillary up. So they told them to stop distributing literature, it was a waste of time, and don't do in any in-person voter outreach efforts. That's what they told the Democrat Party in Michigan. So let's fast forward to around noon on Election Day. People on the ground were reporting to the Hillary camp that voter turnout in the areas they had targeted, like the cities, like Detroit, and that area, were down 25%. And they were told, no, you're still wrong. She's going to win Michigan. They took it for granted. They were being warned that there was a tremendous loss. The Hillary camp was being warned by, warned by those on the ground. There was a tremendous loss of support among white union members to Donald Trump. I'm just going to say it. I called that about nine months ago. But they didn't care. They thought Michigan and Pennsylvania were in the bag. And the same thing was happening in Pennsylvania, which she lost by now, what, 46,000 votes? It was 75, now it's 46, something like that. So while they were drinking champagne at the Hillary camp on Election Day and making phone calls to potential transition team picks, they were ignoring warnings on the ground. Those people, they're plebes. They don't like them. If you're not in Hillary's inner circle, they don't care about you. These are people who were working for her, who have dedicated their time, their effort, their resources, probably their money, to help her win, and she just didn't care about what they were saying. Now, if she didn't care about what they were saying, imagine if she would care about what you say. So, Michigan, goodbye. That will be read next time around also. And uh, let's, let's uh, take a little trip to the West and go to Wisconsin now. Donald Trump hits West Alice, Wisconsin on his thank you tour. I love it. The, the podium has a sign on the front of it. It says, Merry Christmas, USA. I love it. I absolutely love it. We can say it again. We won't get arrested for saying Merry Christmas now. Remember when Obama was president? <laughs> Remember when Obama was president? He says uh, in his speech, he goes, so when I started 18 months ago, I told my first crowd in Wisconsin that we're going to come back here someday and we're going to say Merry Christmas again. Merry Christmas. So Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year, but Merry Christmas. And I'm here today for one reason, to say thank you to the people of Wisconsin. Do you think Hillary Clinton would have gone on a thank you tour? No, nah, she would have gone on a fundraising tour. <laughs> the Clinton Foundation has a new address, happens to be in D.C., now, it's also worth noting Paul Ryan was at this uh, this thank you tour. He got booed. 
he got booed. They're cheering for Trump, cheering for Pence. They're booing Paul Ryan. Uh, they, uh, Paul Ryan gave him a Packers jersey with a number 45 on it. I didn't see the cheese head wedge come out. Maybe that'll happen at some point. Also, today, Trump is meeting with the uh, the, the uh, industry, tech industry people. He's got uh, Tim Cook from Apple, Satya Nadala from Microsoft, Larry Page from Google. Oh, we got a bunch of them. Uh, Jeff Bezos from Amazon and WAPO. He's got Elon Musk, of course, Tesla and SpaceX, and they're all going to the White House North. And I'm I hope uh, they're probably hoping it doesn't go the same way the meeting with NBC, CBS, ABC, CNN went. That was just that was a tongue lashing they caught. So we'll see. It's interesting to note that Jack Dorsey, the Twitter CEO, is not going to be at White House North today. Whether he declined or wasn't even invited, who knows? But he's not going to be there. These companies should all be really happy, though, because Trump's going to lower that corporate tax rate. He's going to make it easy to bring back, to repatriate that money that the lion's share of all money offshore is from these tech companies. It's like billions and billions of dollars being held offshore. They can bring it back now at a much, much lower rate. So we'll see how this goes. I'm sure we'll get a statement from both sides. They'll both say it was great. And then they'll say, well, not so much. <laughs> Yahoo News said, uh, the 70-year-old Republican leader in waiting continues to fill out his cabinet. We'll get to that when we come back. Let me take just a moment or two, if I may, and talk about a great place to eat. That's right. For you folks anywhere in the eastern San Fernando Valley, drop in to Bob's Big Boys. That's right. In Sun Valley at 8274 Sunland Boulevard. Now, everybody remembers the name Bob's. They're getting bigger and bigger every day. And little old Bob carrying the hamburger in his checkered overalls is the same Bob that you remember from back through the years. And, of course, if you want to go in for a great lunch, remember their classic burger, the original double-deck hamburger combination. Delicious 100% pure ground beef in two patties with American cheese, lettuce, and our famous big boy special sauce. The name is Bob, and I think when you go in, you'll say, by golly, I'm sure glad that I found this restaurant because it's good for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They've got all kinds of things, and all you have to do is remember. Bob's Big Boy in Sun Valley at 8274 Sunland Boulevard. It's a great place to eat. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you have severe knee or back pain and you have Medicare or private insurance, we have great news. Finally, there's a way to reduce your pain without surgery or taking medications. Call us today and learn how you can qualify to get a pain-relieving knee or back brace at little or no cost to you. We'll even ship your brace for free. If you have excruciating knee or back pain and you have Medicare or private insurance, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving, nearly invisible knee or back brace at little or no cost to you. I've used one. They're comfortable and they work, and we guarantee your happiness. So call right now and get yours. I promise we're here to take your call. Thank you. 800-290-0759. 800-290-0759. 800-290-0759. That's 800-290-0759. What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it, you could junk it, or you could donate it to Heritage for the Blind. Your car will be towed away for free, and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats. It doesn't matter if your vehicle runs or not. It will be towed away for free, and you'll be supporting those that need help. Heritage for the Blind is a nonprofit organization that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call right now to donate your car, and as a special thank you for calling, you'll receive a free three-day vacation voucher to many exciting locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now, 1-800-785-9618. Donating is easy and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher. Call now, 1-800-785-9618. That's 1-800-785-9618. So you've missed the health care deadline and don't have any form of health care? Liberty HealthShare has the answer. Liberty HealthShare offers an affordable health care option that allows Americans to enroll any time of the year. 
For those of you who have already enrolled, but just aren't satisfied with what you've chosen, there's still hope. Liberty HealthShare allows Americans to control, manage, and direct their health care, yet still be in good standing with the Affordable Care Act. Members are exempt from the tax penalty and mandates imposed on individuals for not having health care insurance, thus giving you freedom from insurance. Liberty HealthShare empowers their members by giving them the ability to choose any doctor or hospital across the nation. Memberships are for individuals, couples, and families, offering a variety of options to best suit an individual's medical needs. If you're a freedom-loving American like myself, looking for contract-free health care, then this is for you. For more information on how to enroll at any time of the year, call 855-585-4237 or visit libertyhealthshare.org to request a free estimate. Do it today. This is Jeff Carlisi from the Band 38 Special. Let us never forget that police lives matter. You're listening to the Rhino Report, always right on the RWB Network. The Republicans want to repeal it. You know, they actually, with a straight face, say that the Great Recession was was caused by too much regulation on Wall Street. They actually say that. You know, I remember when, you know, I've I've supported my husband through all of his races in Arkansas. And I, I, one of my favorite, favorite political ads of all time was a radio ad, rural Arkansas, where the announcer said, wouldn't it be great if somebody running for office said something, we could have an immediate reaction as to whether it was true or not? Well, we've trained this dog. And the dog, if it's not true, he's going to bark. And then the dog was barking on the, on the radio. And so, you know, people were, like, barking at each other for days after that. I- I'm trying to figure out how we can do that with the Republicans. You know, we need, we need to get that dog and follow, follow him around. And every time they say these things, like, oh, you know, the Great Recession was caused by too much regulation. Oh, 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 you know. I, I think we could, we could cut right through a lot of their, uh, you know, their claims. All right, guys, welcome back to this last segment of today's Wednesday edition of the Rhino Report. I got cut off there at the end. I got to learn how to time my segments a little bit better. I was just so excited. I was so excited to tell you about this. I read this in the in a, in a Yahoo article. They're talking about this, this tech summit, the titans of tech, meeting with Donald Trump. And they said the afternoon summit, which is set to begin at 2 p.m., which is at 1900 uh, Greenwich Mean Time, comes as the 70-year-old Republican leader-in-waiting. The 70-year-old Republican leader-in-waiting. Do you believe they would have mentioned Hillary Clinton's age if she was Madam President-elect or whatever long title we would have given her besides inmate? It sounds like a microaggression to me, right? Is that ageism? Maybe we should call Madonna, see what her feelings on the matter are since she's such an expert when it comes to ageism and politics. So like I said, Jack Dorsey, uh, at Jack, I think, is his handle on Twitter, right? It should be at Jerk, but it's at Jack. He's not going to be there. So we'll wait the statements, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. I don't really care what Google or Microsoft has to say. I care about IBM because they're going to be hiring uh, 25,000 more people and investing a billion dollars in employee training and development in the next four years. So I care about what they say, um, but not Google, not Twitter. Twitter is going to go the way of, like, MySpace pretty soon, as Facebook is already. No one has Facebook anymore, except for the 300 million people that have it. But, um, all right, we have this Who Saved Christmas thing. We're going to hold that off till tomorrow. That's a good Christmas story. That's going to be a tomorrow one. So let's jump right to Vanity Fair. Vanity Fair says that um, Donald Trump won because angry white men fell in love with Vladimir Putin. That's what they say here. This is by Peter Savodnik. He wrote this article. Why Angry White America Fell for Putin. And he has this thing. Oh, back in the 90s when angry white men flew to Moscow and then St. Petersburg and Kiev in search of beautiful Russian women to replace their feminist wives in America. What they loved about Russian women, I learned, was not just that they were gorgeous. I mean, who needs that, right? But rather, they were submissive. They had their values straight. 
When these men talked about American women, they always sounded bitter. American women didn't know how to please a man. They didn't wear makeup. They didn't cook. They let themselves go. <laughs> these men came from Arkansas, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Texas, and the Central Valley of California. And they had fallen in love with Russia. It was so... It was full of pretty white girls who acted the way they thought girls should act. This guy is completely off the mark. I think it's written by a guy who doesn't like women. I'm just going to go out on that limb and say this. Or at the very least, is not very successful with them. Because he has no idea what men are looking for, obviously. But he says that, that us angry white men, we like the Russian mail-order bride so much, and that's why we fell in love with Trump because of Trump's Putin connection. Again, this is Peter Savodnik of Vanity Fair. If you're turning to Vanity Fair for your political news, um, you have some issues you need to work out with probably some medication. What doesn't, what's not explained here, and I'd love to ask him where this fits in, is uh, how does that explain how well Donald Trump performed with African Americans or Hispanics? I don't know. I guess they must have liked submissive Russian women, too. Who knows? <laughs> but blame the mail-order brides. It's all their fault. What is it, like 12 of them in this country? How many are there? <laughs> Not that many. Uh, always finding a scapegoat. We just can't admit that Hillary Clinton was a bad choice. And they're going to keep doing this for the next four, five, eight, twenty years. They'll write the textbooks about it. Your kids, your grandkids, they'll learn it this way. So you're going to have to re-educate them, much like that mother in Wisconsin did, and listen to the Rhino Report. All right, guys. Hope you had a good time today. A big thank you to all those serving our country at home and abroad, as well as a big thank you to those in the law enforcement community. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for all your hard work. Please, please, please stay safe. God bless all of you. God bless all of your families. Have a great, great rest of your day, everybody. And we'll see you tomorrow, same time, same channel. And until then, I'm the Rhino, and I'm out.